I'm Alan Gonzalez Zapata. I am an internal medicine doctor and I did a fellowship on sleep medicine. I was born and raised in Mexico. I am for a, from a northern state in Mexico. If you draw a line from Austin, eight hour drive, that's my home. Um, it's called Saltillo Coahuila. I did my, um, my medical school there as well. I think my brother, and I, he, he had several, he had some, um, you know, some medical issues when he was, when we were both young. And I wanted to provide someone with reassurance and someone with a support, such a support that we have been seeing from other, like from physicians. I wanted to see someone, I, I wanted to be someone that makes someone a little more calm about what they're going through a little bit more supportive. Um, I wanted to be that person. I wanted to go to a community that's decent in size. I came here for an interview. I saw that it was much more than that. So I, uh, I felt like family here in, in, in St. Francis. Internal medicine is mainly a very holistic way of seeing things. Um, it, it takes care of everything. Yesterday I saw a patient that was really wanting to have someone to have a conversation, not about his heart, not about his liver. He wanted to have a conversation about his general well-being. And I, I, he, he was very grateful that he had someone. He's like, you know what, I just want a, a, a person. He, he said, I just want a guy who I can talk about of my sleep or who I can talk about my diet or I just want to be uh, you know, um, I want to be trustful with that person. Well, first of all, if they're looking for a primary care physician, that means that they are responsible. That's one of the first things that we want to do. We want to make sure that they will be responsible. And I want them to know that we're going to be a team. I'm not going to be a guy who's dictating things. We're going to be a team. I'm just there for support. I'm just there to tell them how to, you know, get their life a little bit better and how to prolong their, you know, their well-being if they're, if they're okay, how to prolong it, how to stay out of the hospital, how to stay out of the ER. Those are things that will, that will steal time of you. And if we can prevent them, that would be great. The thing with, with sleep medicine, it was, it was that I was in the clinic with when I was a resident, and I saw three patients that were, you know, high blood pressure and had one of them had heart failure, and then they had been seeing, you know, cardiologists, they have been seeing nephrologists, and they had all of that. They had, they were on three, uh, on three antihypertensives. Um, so I was like, you are on three blood pressure medication what else have they done? And they were like, well, you know, they have changed and they have switched around this blood pressure medication. Um, and I was like, okay, so let's step back and let's see your diet. Well, yeah. And then your sleep, how are you sleeping? And then I did, you know, a, just a screening for obstructive sleep apnea. And they were not treated. They were never screened. They, they were never asked if they were, you know, uh, having, you know, snoring or so. And turns out they were screenable. So we did screen them for, uh, with, for obstructive sleep apnea. We did the test, they came back positive. We started treatment and those patients, two of them got into two blood pressure medications being controlled. One of them got, a, uh, got his uh, systolic ejection fraction, meaning the heart, he, he got it better. And that's just from one single intervention. And it, if you look at it, it's eight hours of sleep for the rest of our life, so it's like a big, big chunk of our life we spend sleep. And it's just a reflection. Our, our life in the daytime is just a reflection of our, uh, of our life in the nighttime. When I get a call back or when I see a patient coming back and they say, Doc, you were right, I feel better. That's like, that's the best thing, that's the best feeling you will ever feel in a medical field.